before we start to my brothers, um, if you have space in front of you, please fill them in, inshallah, it will be easy for the helpful people. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Sabir al Ni'am, Wadafi al Ni'am, Wamujadi al Humam, Wakashif al Thulam, Adela man Hakam, Wahasiba man Zalam, Wawali man Zulim, Ahmaduhu Hamdan Kathira, Tayyiba al Mubarakan fi, Mil Asama Wati, Wamil al Abdi, Wamil Ama Bainahuma, Wamil Ama Shah Maulana, Min Shayim Bab. كما ينبغي لجلال وجهه وعظيم سلطانه حمدا لا يحصيه عددا ولا يحيط به علما إلا هو السميع العليم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو حي لا يموت بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله وخيرته من خلقه وصفيه من أنبيائه ورسله أدى الأمانة وبلغ الرسالة ونصح الأمة وجل الغمة وتركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك اللهم صل وسلم عليه وعلى أزواجه أمهات المؤمنين وعلى ذريته وآل بيته وعطرته الطيبين الطاهرين وعلى صحابته وتابعيهم ومن اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعلى والدينا ومشايخنا وأصحاب الفضل علينا وعلينا معهم صلاة وسلاما دائمين كاملين متلازمين إلى يوم الدين آمين يا رب العالمين My brothers and sisters the last khutbah was about Birhul Walidayn, respecting the parents. And today's khutbah will be, because this is the second last Friday of school, that the kids, the children, they are with us. And after next Friday, they will be in their school. Some parents bring their kids for Jum'a Salah, some they do not. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them value that every child is able to perform Jum'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amunu, qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara, wa quduha al-nasu wal hijara, alayha malaikatun ghilaqun shidadun la ya'asuna Allah ma'amarahum wa yaf'aluna ma'amarahum. O you who believe, Save and protect yourself and your family from a fire whose fuel is people and stone, or which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appointed angels. They are very severe, very harsh, appointed for the hellfire. And they do not disobey, but they do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordered. Now protecting ourselves and our family, how it is possible for us. The only way we have from the Quran and the Hadith to keep reminding one another. Give a quality time to your children, to your family member, and to your friends. Because I have mentioned it several times in the khutbah, that these three parts, tazkir, inza, and Tafsheer must be given by the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tazkir bil Qur'an, Tafsheer bil Qur'an, and Inzar bil Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Keep reminding, because reminding always benefits the believers. And one of the title which is given to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is مُذَكِّرْ فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرُ لَسْتَ عَلَيْهِ بِالْمُصَيْتِرُ Remind them that you are only a reminder. You are not a dictator over the people. 
So Allah says, how to remind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَذَكِّرْ Quran. Remind people through this Quran. If people listening to this reminding, and warn people to this Quran, in Surah Al-An'am, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, tell these people, أُوحِيَ إِلَيَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ لِأُنْذِرَهُمْ بِهِ وَمَنْ بَلَغْ This Quran is given to me, is sent down to me, is revealed to me in order to warn you. Now, when the people accept the reminder and the warning and they are correcting themselves, then Allah says, give them great, great tidings. But their good news must be given through Quran as well. Inna hadha al-Qur'ana yahdi lillati hi aqum wa yubashir al-mu'mineen al-latina ya'amaluna al-salihah anna lahum ajr al-kabira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that. They remind you this Quran shows the perfect way, straight path. And when you people accept and believe in doing righteous deeds, and then Allah says, give them a good news that there is a tremendous, a great reward for those people. Qu anfusakum wa Now protect yourself. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to all of us, wa anvir ashiratakal akrabin and warn your close relative. It's very important to invite them, your relative, and warning them what they are doing. It's good or if they are doing, they are on the right path, give them the good news. The Prophet ﷺ invited all of his family members or the chief of the Quraysh. And he says to them, Wallahi law kadabtum nasa lama kadabtukum. Law kadabtum nasa lama kadabtukum. If I were to lie, I would not tell you lie. If I were to cheat and deceive people, I would not do that with you. And then he told them, that wallahi latamutunna kama tanamun wa latub'athunna kama tastaqizun warm and he said by Allah swearing in the name of Allah wallahi you're gonna die as you go to sleep and you will be resurrected as you get up from your sleep reminding and father should remind his kids and kids should also remind his father as well or mom parents Sayyidina Ibrahim السلام, when he got this message, the first thing he went to his family. His father mentioned in Surah Maryam, was good for Kitab Ibrahim. If Qal al Abi Ya Abati, Limata would Mala Yasma Wala Yusuf, Wala Yuni Anka Shayda. He went to his father and educated his father. His other thing that he did, he did not accept the message. Sayyidina Yaqub السلام, before his death, he gathered all of his children. أم كنتم شهداء إذ حضر يعقوب الموت إذ قال لبنيه ما تعبدون من بعدي قالوا نعبد إله وإله آخر. so father gives admonish وصية نصيحة to his kids and sometimes the kids are educated and they give نصيحة to their parents as well. but you may ask this is they were the prophet and messengers. we are not the prophet and messenger. we do not have their strength and abilities. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned five righteous people who are mentioned in the Quran by name. Abu Bakr is very important, but his name is not mentioned in the Quran. Umar ta'ala is very important. Ali and Uthman ta'ala but no one is mentioned by the, in, in their names. If they are assigned where they are mentioned in the Quran. Five righteous people by name mentioned in the Quran. And one of them is Sayyidina Luqman, and we will discuss them. Talut in Surah Al Baqarah. Sayyidina Dil Qarnayn in Surah Al Kahf. One of the companions who is mentioned in the Quran by name, that is Sayyidina Zayd radiallahu In Surah Al Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Falamma qawa Zaydun minha wa qaran zawa. And one female mentioned by the name. She was the mother of the Prophet. Sayyidah Maryam. She was not a prophet, she was not a messenger. So these people, how in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of them, I'm gonna to talk to you about this, Sayyidina Luqman. He gave 
10 nasiha, 10 wasaya to his son and my brothers and sisters. <coughs> this is very easy. Open the Quran, Surah Luqman from ayah number 12 to 19. Surah Luqman from ayah number 12 to 19. Read them. Before your children go to school, share this with them. These 10 commandments. Number one. Ya bunayya la tushrik billah. Ya bunayya inna ha inta kum izqala habbatim min khardalim fatakum fi sakhratim aw fi samawati aw fi al-ardi yati bi Allah. Ya bunayya aqim salah. Wa amur bin ma'roof. Wa anha'an al-munkar. Wa asbir ala ma asabak. Wa la tusar'an khaddak. Wa la tamshi fi al-ardi maraha. Wa aqsid fi mashik. Wa aqdu min satik. These are the Ten Commandments of Luqman and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed them in the Quran for us that we should take lesson and how to protect our family and ourselves from the fire. Allah says, protect and save yourself from a fire. Protect yourself and your family from a fire whose fuel is people and stone. So, Luqman he gives this ten commandment to his son. First two of them is aqidah, very important. The third one is Ya Bunayya Aqim Salah, correction of deeds. Number two and three, uh, four and five, social uh, betterment of the society. And the last five are social manners, character, behavior. But the most important thing, the first thing, because this is very important, my brothers and sisters, please pay attention to it. A Muslim children in America, they are talking about atheism. They say you need to be a good person, you don't have to be Muslim, you don't have to be Christian, you don't have to be Hindu artist. These conversations is going on. They are not sharing with you. But this is going on. So the first thing that man he knew. وَلَقَدْ أَعْتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةَ أَنِ اشْكُرْ لِلَّهِ وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ لِكُ وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَانُ لِبْنِهِ وَهُوَ يَعِذُهُ يَا بُنَيَّ لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ The first thing, the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to mention. Very important. The consequences of shirk. Because shirk is in the shirka لَظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ He said to his son, making partner or associating something or someone with Allah or creating or elevating the level of human being to the level of God. Just like the Christian they did. They say Jesus is God or He is the Son of God. Or to decrease the level of God to human being. Lord is Lord. Very important that. To tell and share with your kids that do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not commit shirk. Allah is one. Allah is one. And whoever dies in the state of shirk, Allah will not forgive. In Allah, la yafiru wa yushtaka bihi wa yafiru ma duna dalika liman yasha. Inna hu man yushrik billah faqal harram allahu alayhi jannah wa ma'wa unna wa ma'adhi dhalim. So, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah says that whoever dies in a state of shirk, then Jannah is haram and his wealth, his abode, is placed in the hellfire. May Allah save us from the, all kind of shirk. There are shirk al-khafi and shirk al -jari. Please read about this. Tawheed, Tawheed al-Guluhiyya, Tawheed al-Rububiyya, Tawheed al-Asmani wa sifat These are three kind of Tawheed. Then shirk al-uliyya, shirk al-uliyya. You need to open and do a halakha in your own house for your kids. So this is number one, tawheed. Number two, tell your children also that they are going to school. You cannot supervise them 24 by 7. They will be in the classroom. Maybe they're class fellow Hindu, Christian, Jews, atheists. You, you do not know. Who can correct their aqidah? But if, if you remind them, Ya Bunayya, inna ha intakum is qala habbatim min khardalim 
فَتَكُمْ فِي صَخْرَةٍ أَوْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ أَوْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يَأْتِ بِهَا الله. He says, O oh my son, Allah will bring all things to life. Be there as small as a grain of a mustard seed. Be there hidden inside a rock or high above in the heaven or deep down in the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not bring them. No matter. If they are in their bedroom with their cell phone, you do not know, we do not know what they are doing. Bad stuff are available now, very easy. But if you keep telling them that Allah is watching you and what you do, either small or big, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring it on the day of judgment. فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًا يَرَى Either you do good or bad, each and every single thing is being documented in your amal, in the book of your deeds. Remember, each and every one of us, we are writing every day one page of our life to write our own book. A time will come with the last breath, we will die and the book will be closed. But the book is preserved in a very important place with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah reserved all of us, Allah says, We will bring out that book and we will place in front of them. And the announcement will be made, Read your own book, the book of your own actual deeds. Some people will see to that book, what kind of book is this? It did not leave any single thing, small or big, everything is there. So tell your kids and also for us, because Allah is telling us, first us, first then your family members, to remind them, my brothers, it is very important. When they know that Allah is watching us. You know, there was a story we were teaching to our Sunday school student. There was a brother, he has a three sons. And he gave them cookies to eat it in a place where nobody can see you. But he educated every one of them. One of them, he loved the door. And he thought, nobody is watching me, so he ate his cookies. The other one, he turned off the light and he did to hide from the people and he also ate. But the third one, he did all these things but he says, our father taught us that Allah is watching you, wherever you are. And he returned the cookie and he said, Allah is watching me. He was educating his children, he was teaching them a lesson. So my brothers and sisters, Allah is watching us as adults and remind them to your children that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. Even if you are in a school, and especially the high school students, very important. You are Muslim. Do not hide your own identity that you are Muslim. Tell them, behave good in your school, so people say that these are the people. Just like Yusuf salam was very young, very handsome boy. He was in the jail. Two times he was given the title by the people, Inna Naraka Minal Mursiri. You know, in the jail, he was in the jail for no reason. And the people who came and asked him, We see you are the best man, Inna Naraka Minal Mursiri. That you are the best, that character. The akhlaq we need to have in our school, so you become a da'i, you can become the people among those people who call in people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is number two, my brothers. Number three is, Ya Bunayya Aqim salah Oh my dear son, Islam is salah. Do not compromise with salah with your children. Wake them up. No matter what happens. One of the person who asks the shaykh, how it is possible to make our children to pray and to wake them up, it's difficult. He says, if there is a fire, physical fire, how your wife or your, their mother will wake them up? 
because they see the fire is approaching them, is coming closer to them, how, what do you do with your kids? You will take them and throw your own son or your own daughter that you're going to burn in the fire. But my brothers, the real fire is coming. Luqman is telling his son, oh my dear son, establish Salah. <coughs> My brothers, after declare that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the last messenger, you cannot escape this duty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the concession. When you travel, you can decrease the number of raka'at, Zuhur, Asr, and Isha. You can join Zuhur and Asr and Maghrib and Isha. If the water is not available, you can make the yamma. But you must pray. If you are sick, you make the yamu. If you are not able to pray while you are standing, you sit down and pray. But you cannot escape. It's not like a zakat and hajj. It's certain people can do that. This is for poor, for rich, for sick, for healthy. Everyone, aqeem salah Very important. And the Prophet taught us when to start arguing with your kids? Clear evidence, clear guidance for us. Prophet says, When they reach to the age of seven, start following the salah. In the other part of the hadith, Subhanallah, punish them when they reach to the age of 10 and they are not performing salah. That's why my brother, salah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was departing from this dunya. This was the only order among the pillars of Islam given to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took him to the heaven to give this order. And in the last word, the sahaba noticed that his lips were moving. He said, as-salah, as-salah, wa ma ma This was his last word when he died. Last was here to his ummah. Pray on time. This was number three. Number four. Wa'amun bin ma'roof. Enjoin what is good. And right. Ma'roof. You know the derived from Arafa. Arafa means to know something. To discover something. To find something. Ma'roof means anyone who is well known in the society. We, do, we say he does not need any introduction, he's ma'roof. And we translate this word, enjoying what is good and right. Why we do that? Ma'roof, well known, universally accepted, generally recognized. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses it. Remember, the brothers of Yusuf alayhi salam, they become munkin when they arrive to to Egypt. He recognized him. So knowing something, it is called ma'roof. If you do not know something, then it's called munkar. And all the good things, all the righteous and act, good actions, it is always ma'roof. And the proof from the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Shams, Allah says, It is inspired, it is ilham. You know ilham? Inspiration. It is inspired to all human beings that what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad. And my brothers and sisters, those who are in the field of da'wah, Inviting people to ma'roof is much easier than preventing them from munkar. Munkar stops someone from if the brother took five thousand, ten thousand dollars from this brother, you interrupt that you have to return his loan. He helped you, he did. He said, Who are you? Why this is my personal? Why you are interrupting interfering in my issue? That's not your job. You see. What do you do? That's why Luqman, he knew what happens after that. You know, he told his son, number six, وَصْبِرْ عَلَى مَا أَصَابَ When you do Amr bil Ma'roof, Nani عَنِ الْمُنْكَرْ This is the title with patience. If you do not have patience, 
you will create a fitna. Patience is very impossible ala ma'asaf. And the best example is the example of Rasulullah. Because Allah said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ بِسْوَةِ الْحَسَنَةِ For 40 years, he spent time in Mecca with his own people. People were calling him a beautiful name. Sadiq and Amin. And trustworthy, nice person, always respected. Always taking care of the people. But when he started Amr bin Ma'roof and Nahyan and Munkar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did say in Surah Yunus to him, they tell them to remind the, your previous time. فَقَدْ لَبِسْتُ فِيكُمْ عُمُرًا أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ Didn't I spend time with you 40 years? You are the same people who are calling me Sadiq and Amin. Now the good terms, good titles change into bad names. Four mentioned up in the Quran. People used to call him, Ya ayyuhal ladheen usila alayhi dhikru innaka la majnoon. Maftoon in Surah Al-Qalam. Fi dalal al-mubeen. Fi dalal al-kabir. This was the people telling Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then they call him sahir, a magician, shahir, kahin. This beautiful name was before Salih and Ameen. Now what people are saying? But what does Allah say to him? Wasbir ala ma yaqoolun. Wasbir sabran jameela. Be gracious. Or what they are saying. And subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the fa'lul madari. He didn't say, Wasbir ala ma qalu. Be patient over what they already said. But Allah says, Be patient what they are saying and what they will be saying in the future. So be patient for your own mind as well. Subhanallah. My brothers and sisters, may Allah give us the fear to do that. Now the last four of them are social manners. And very quickly because the time is almost done. He says to his son, وَلَا تُسَعَدْ خَدَّبْ You know nowadays, parents are calling their children, they do not pay attention. Unfortunately, the dinner or the lunch is ready and the parents are texting their kids to come and eat the food. Calling them. And the way they are replying to their parents is not a respected way. Unfortunately, because the schools do not teach these etiquettes. Back in countries, one of the subjects is, 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 is Islamiyat. Islamic manners. In Japan, the first year, the two years in the school, no books, only etiquettes and manners. That's what we should do. Do not turn your face when you talk to them and when you, they talk to you. You know, the Arab, they use this as an idiom. When a person was arrogant and he passed by something and said he does not pay attention, he turned his cheek. SubhanAllah. Allah says, When you talk to people, and by the way, Sa'ar is a disease in the neck of the camel. When the camel has this disease, it's always straight. Cannot turn their face. SubhanAllah. The Quran uses this word. Allah chooses that word. So when you talk to people, do not turn your face. Be gentle. Be obedient. Number eight, he says, وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحَةً Do not walk on this earth with arrogance. You know, it's very important. You can recognize the personality of the person by just simply walk, watch the style. That's why the true believer, عباد الرحمن, يمشون على الأرض هؤلاء. They walk on this earth with dignity but without arrogance. And why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran, Wala tamshi fil ardi maraha? He could say, Abdul Rahman could say to his son, Wala tamshi maraha, don't walk with arrogance. But the word ard, Wala tamshi fil ardi, because Allah says in Surah Al Mulk, Waladi jaalakumul arda galula, famshu fi manakibiha. The earth is, is like a, your servant and your slave. Very obedient to you. You dig it and bury your dead body there. You walk on it. 
you bring a tractor, tractor or a bucket, you can do what you want, a strong building on this earth. It's very obedient. So learn a lesson from it. On this earth, earth is very humble to you and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And take a lesson from it. Do not walk on this earth arrogantly. Because Rasulullah says, you see, is very important. لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال حبة الكفر. The one who has small portion of arrogance in his heart will not enter the Jannah. Remember, people of Makkah, the chief of the Quraysh, when they Bilal رضي الله تعالى عنه was sitting, Abdullah bin Mas'ud, Khabar رضي الله تعالى عنه, you know, he says, remove these poor people from your company, then we can join your company, we can listen to you, we can then decide to listen or not. But at least you remove these people. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَلَا تَتْرُدِ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ Do not repel these people from you. Do not move them. Be with them. And when these people come to you, a special honor given by Allah to these people. وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِنَا فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ Subhanallah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says when you walk, you should say salam to the one who is sitting. But here Allah says when these people come to you, you should say salam to them. Subhanallah. وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِنَا فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ Take care. Give way to people. There is no Arab, none Arab, white, black. No, there is nothing. No racism is in Islam. إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنَّ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ وَأَصِدْ فِي مَشْيِهِ Then how to walk? This is number nine. Be moderate, be gentle, be nice in your walk. وَأَصِدْ فِي مَشْيِهِ And the last one is وَغْدُدْ مِنْ صَوْتِكَ Lower your voice when you talk to them. Lower your voice. If there is need, yes, you can raise your voice if you give khutbah or you give lecture in the stadium or in a big gathering in a convention but other than that regular conversation with other educates manners my brothers and sisters this ten commandments the after of man wallahi it is very important every summer surah laqman from ayah number 12 to 19 go and read them and you will find in the middle of the ayat the middle of the ayat, the Arab Jumla Martarika. Something going on and some other thing. Okay? If a doctor is talking to you about your health and somebody knocks the door, we need you there. It's Martarika. Hmm? Some other conversation stuff. So Luqman is giving this. Allah has revealed him, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the middle, after the first command, after the first nasiha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something special. Because it doesn't look nice that the father or the mother says to his son or daughter, you need to thank me, be grateful to me because I do this, 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 this. It doesn't look nice. Luqman was so wise. He didn't tell his son. We sometimes tell our kids. But Luqman, he did not say, but Allah said it. Allah interrupted it. And Allah told the human being, Anishkur li wali walidayk. Be thankful to me and to your parents. Take care of your family. And the last khutbah was about all, the whole khutbah was about that. And may Allah reward, Brother Bilal, he is recording that khutbah and listen to it. If you are not able to listen, at least listen this khutbah if you are not able to read. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to follow this. Otherwise, the day will come when the children will not benefit. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا مَنُونٌ اللَّهُمَّ جَعَلْنَا مِنَ الَّذِينَ تَلْ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَقْنَا بِهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ May Allah make us among those people that the whole family 
son, daughter, brother, sister, mother, father, all go to Jannah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa al-Aqibatu lil-Muttaqeen, wa al-Salatu wa al-Salamu ala ashraf al-Anbiya wa al-Mursaleen, Habibina wa Habib Rabbil Alameen, amma ba'd, fa'a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-Rajeem, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusallun ala al-Nabi, ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima, اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم أصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة أمرنا وأصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا وأصلح لنا آخرة التي فيها معادنا واجعل الحياة زيادة لنا في كل خير واجعل الموت راحة لنا من كل شر اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من جهد البلاء ودرك الشقاء وسوء القضاء وشماتة الأعداء اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم أنت يا شافي الأمراض واشفنا واشف مرضانا ومرض المسلمين اللهم أنت يا قاضي الحاجات فاقض حاجاتنا وحاجات المسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أجد الإسلام والمحسنين اللهم أجد الإسلام واحفظ الإسلام والمسلمين في كل مكان اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجم لكم واستغفروه لذنوبكم إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وأقل الصلاح